Welcome back to our channel, where we explore fascinating topics about defense technology, science, and global advancements. In today's video, we're diving into an intriguing question, why is India not buying the MiG R-29 for its navy? Let's explore this in detail. Before we dive in, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's get started. The MiG-29K has been a mainstay for the Indian Navy's aircraft carriers, primarily serving on the INS Vikramaditya and the newly commissioned INS Vikrant. However, recent developments indicate that India is looking beyond the MiG-29 for its naval fighter requirements. Here's why. Performance concerns. The MiG-29K has faced persistent issues with reliability and performance. Reports from naval operations highlight problems such as engine failures, airframe durability, and maintenance challenges. These issues have affected operational readiness, raising concerns about the aircraft's long-term viability. Emerging competition India is currently evaluating new generation fighters like the Dassault Rafale M and the Boeing F-18 Super Hornet. These aircraft offer advanced features like better radar systems, superior payload capacity, and next-gen avionics, making them more suitable for modern naval operations. Strategic Shift India is focusing on indigenous defense production under the Art Minerva Bharat Initiative. The TEDBF, twin-engine deck-based fighter, being developed by HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, is a key project aimed at replacing imported fighters. This aligns with India's vision of reducing dependency on foreign suppliers. Geopolitical factors. Russia's ongoing geopolitical challenges, including sanctions and defense export limitations, have impacted its ability to provide timely upgrades and spare parts for the MiG-29K. This has forced India to reconsider its reliance on Russian platforms. Cost versus capability. While the MiG-29K is relatively affordable, its life cycle costs, including maintenance and repairs, have been higher than anticipated. Modern alternatives, though expensive upfront, promise better efficiency and operational capabilities in the long run.